I have a question for you guys. Many of the, if you have just seen the Steam, actually the you know graph basically which was there, it was stated that many of the Steam users who play games actually have a very mid-range GPU, not a high-end GPU like GTX 1080 or GTX 2060. I mean RTX 2060. My argument here is that Silent Hill 2 system requirements are officially out, and whether the developers want to actually build a community in which most of the people be able to play their game, or do they want to keep the community restricted? Well, the system requirements are finally in front of you and they require a very high-end GPU to at least run the game at low settings and minimum system requirements. What the hell is going around with the gaming community? We have also literally made a whole lot of videos on any other game, basically AAA game launching, Resident Evil 4 Remake, whether it is Dead Space, whether it is Gotham Knights, we have made everything covered on everything on this channel. The system requirements for the bare minimum are GTX 1080, which is unbearable. Why the hell we see actually so much huge system requirements to run the game? If this is true, then this must be very much graphic demanding game. Does not matter. I don't give a fuck if a game is graphically demanding. It should look good. It should look good. It should have great graphics of all time. Can it beat one of the best looking games RDR2 in this? We do not know. We actually see a whole lot of games, demanding games like Gotham Knights, which have demanding system requirements, but I do not have nothing to do with the actual graphics. They just do not look that great. If you just compare side by side with any other game in the competition, this is the thing. The system requirements are getting demanding, depending and demanding. And you guys are just supporting the developers purchasing the game. Just I do not know whether this game will get a whole lot of sales or not, because nobody has a 1080, nobody has a AMD, you know, the 6900 XT and this is this not most of the people purchasing the games actually are having very you know medium range gpu i hope you guys have liked this video let me know what you guys think about the system requirements rising system requirements and whether the developers are just doing these for you know intentionally whether they want just you know the gpu seals or anything like that i think mid-range gpus are still capable enough to run most of the AAA games it's just that developers are not paying many heat to it similar with the cpu specs they want a i5 8400 Shit.